another support video for our other teams. Um, so just a quick update, we have been creating new teams and slotting people into existing teams over the last couple of weeks. There's still a few teams left that we're waiting to see if we get some more um, sign-ups in the next couple of weeks to see if we can make a big team or if we can slot them into some existing teams. We're just waiting on some emails back to see how that works out. So hold tight if you haven't heard from us yet. If you have heard from us, great. Uh, Ideally, your, uh, the main person of contact in your team will contact you with a further instruction, so they will probably present themselves, say something about themselves, and please reply and please help them get things moving. If that's not the case, uh, it would be great if you could take the initiative and actually send out the first email. So it shouldn't be too scary, you just need to say something about yourself, what kind of books are you writing, and what is your goal with this sort of team. Yeah, so don't be afraid to introduce yourself just to get things started. And now that summer is coming to an end, unfortunately. Fortunately, that means that more people should be available on their email and ready to connect. So coming up in September, we're going to launch our first sci-fi and fantasy magazine. And we'd love if we could get some contributions from you, either as an individual author or within your author teams, for some articles or short stories to be included. Exactly. So uh, please submit either a review of your favorite book, review of your team member's book, which would be great promotion for you and for your team member, uh, inspiration behind your novels, um, your favorite sci-fi and fantasy books of all time, so anything really that would uh, resonate with sci-fi and fantasy readers. Yeah, so the deadline for this is September the 10th. We're going to send out an email with more details about length um, and what we're looking for and who to send your entries to. And if your article is included within the magazine, we'll of course link out to your books so readers can go and purchase them. Yeah, exactly. There will be like a short paragraph about yourself. So it's like an extra promotion for you. So like we mentioned last week, we're going to be talking about different ways that you can promote each other as a team every week. So this week we're going to talk about Twitter. Exactly, our favourite platform. Uh, so the simplest way to uh, connect on Twitter is just to follow each other. After that you can retweet your pin tweets, something about uh, your team members' books, just to uh, share it with your uh, followers. Yeah, and um, one of our teams actually even created a separate Twitter handle for their team. So it meant that whenever they were going to promote on Twitter, they would do so through that Twitter handle. So everyone's book would get tweeted about on that Twitter handle. Um, and also they sometimes use different hashtags as well to connect with each other. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you don't want to do that, but you would like to kind of have an easier access to your key members, you can create the list. So when you create a list, you can add uh, tweet names from all of your team members. So whenever you want to retweet their content and want to check out what are they doing, you can always this is just the easiest way to find them. Yeah. Um, and then one thing that we've seen that's been quite effective is that you might decide that one of your team members is going to be your book of the week or the book of the month. So therefore, everyone in the team just tweets about that one person for that week or that month um, and just basically focuses on the one person. So it means that that person gets a lot of um, attention and, um, I guess, engagement around their book for that one week or that one month. Exactly. And then next week or next month, your book can be. So when we're talking about team, we always emphasize the fact that uh, this is a great way to collaborate uh, with other authors, especially in your genre, and maybe uh, get some advice and some feedback on your book. So one way to use this advantage is to share your Amazon book page or your Amazon author page and ask for feedback. Yeah, so maybe you spent a lot of time on your author page, maybe you spent no time on your author page, but it's a really good idea to try and maybe take a stab at doing something um, and then send it on to your team for feedback. Uh, you might get advice on how you can link up your books properly on your page or uh, format the writing that comes up. Some people have real difficulty in doing that. Um, and then also you might find out what things have worked for other authors that might work for you, such as maybe including your personal website within your author bio, if that's been advantageous or not, that yeah, kind of thing. Exactly. For example, categories. Some categories might work better for some authors and the others for other authors, especially if they're specific, so this is another point to consider. Uh, also, please, when you give the advice for your team member, please be nice and consider it. 
just because, uh, well, obviously when you're an author and you wrote something, you feel quite attached to it and some people might take the criticism a bit hard. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, especially sometimes when you give it uh, feedback or criticism within writing, it's not as nice as if you get a face-to-face -face and you can take yeah. things as much harsher than they actually are meant yeah. to be. Yeah, exactly. So keep that in mind when you're writing. Yeah. Okay, so we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or problems, please let us know in the comments. If you haven't signed up for our author team, please do. We'll post a link in the comments and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye! Building fruits, anything really that would be of interest uh, for readers who are not. Damn it. <laughs>